How'd you like it? It's so shiny. Ooh, bye, bye, Jane. Hey, oh. Hey, time. Okay. 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 So Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is the follow-up to Camelot's uh, Mario Golf for the N64. Um, much like the previous game, you play as one of several different uh, Nintendo licensed characters in a bunch of kind of wacky uh, golf courses. It's a really good game. Toadstool Tour is excellent at what it does. Um, however, it is maybe a little bit too much like uh, the last Mario Golf. Uh, the basics are pretty much the same as you'd get in any other uh, golf game. You get the basic modes of play, you know, you get your tournament, you get your stroke play, you get your match play, uh, skins, stuff like that. Um, but there's also some uh, more unique, interesting modes of play. Uh, there's the uh, ring shot mode where uh, you'll find great big rings scattered all over the, uh, the course, just kind of floating up in the air, and you've got to shoot your ball through those to score. Uh, there's a speed golf mode where you have to actually run from one hole to the next, uh, actually, and your speed and how long it takes you to do that will uh, help determine uh, how you uh, stand in, in the competition. Um, one of the, actually the more interesting uh, special modes that they have in the game uh, is uh, club slots. Uh, and it's basically just a, a regular old tournament mode where you uh, compete a bunch of, against a bunch of other characters. Uh, it's just sort of a point tournament uh, setting. Except that you only get three clubs at most to play with and they're randomly chosen for you using like a little slot machine mechanic. Um, and it's a really sort of an interesting mode and uh, a nice challenge for uh, the more expert players. And uh, if you have played a golf game before, it's probably not going to be that hard for you to pick up uh, Toadstool Tour, mostly because the play mechanics are pretty much the same as they've been in just about every other golf game before it. Uh, now a lot of modern golf games have switched over from the classic three-click mechanic to a, uh, a new analog swing mechanic. Uh, but Toadstool Tour says none of that. They uh, stick with the classics, they stick with what works, and surprise, surprise, it works. Um, the basics are you hit the A button once to start your power meter up, you hit it again to uh, f when you get to the power point that you want to be at, and then it goes. Um, interesting twist about this, uh, this mechanic that they've introduced in Toadstool Tour is that you can either just hit it once, then hit it again, and then off you're, you're on your way, or you can choose to uh, hit the A button on the first uh, to, to begin the meter, and then you uh, hit the B button once you get to the, to the power that you want it at. And then when it goes back down, uh, you hit a button again to determine the accuracy of your shot. But on that third click, you can double tap the A button to give the ball more top spin, or you can double click the B button to give it a little bit of back spin. And it's really nice that they have figured out a way to make it you know, easy for beginners and yet deep enough for uh, more experienced players uh, who would understand the nuances of the game uh, to be able to make use of such things. Without having to go through any menus and change any settings, it's just all there all at once. Uh, the screen is always jam-packed with information uh, about where you stand in the game. There's uh, information about the lie of the ball, there's uh, information about the altitude of where your shot is going uh, relative to where it currently is. Uh, weather conditions, uh, like wind direction, uh, all sorts of information that if you know how to read it and understand how it affects the game uh, can really be used to your advantage. <clears throat> it, it is a pretty deep game, it is fairly serious, but it is also still Mario Golf, so there is some whimsy to it and uh, some, some stuff that sets it apart from other modern golf games. Uh, you'll regularly find fast fairway areas where if, you, if your ball lands on it, it will roll faster and further than it would normally. And you'll also find lots of enemies uh, and just elements from previous Mario games uh, along the course. You'll find chain chomps and thwomps that if you get too close to your ball, it's going to do bad, bad things to it. Uh, you'll also find uh, warp pipes where if you uh, are able to get your ball into one end of a warp pipe, it'll come out further along on the course at the other end. Overall, the mechanics and the way the game plays, uh, it's sharp, it's fun. Uh, it's easy to pick up, but there is depth to it. Uh, it would have been nice if they had uh, you know, kind of brought it up to times and uh, included uh, analog swing mechanic, but even without it, the game is still totally playable. It works, and so you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Um, graphically, uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour gives you what you would expect from a top-tier Nintendo title. Um, 
the game looks just really good. It looks sharp, it looks clean. Uh, all of the courses have a very, uh, just a, a very particular Nintendo flavor to them. Uh, you'll, the first few courses that you play on do look sort of just like generic golf courses, but then as you get further in, just the courses start getting crazier. Uh, the first course that you'll notice where it's just has jumped into the fantasy realm is uh, an entire set of uh, holes that is basically modeled after the opening levels in Super Mario 64, complete with like the, the princess's castle and the moat around it and then the big hill level with the King bob on top of it. And it's just sort of referential stuff that if you have loved Mario games and if you've played a lot of Mario games, you'll pick up on lots of these just little sort of visual cues and jokes that uh, are just really sort of fun to see. The characters themselves, which you know include uh, a large cast of Mario-related characters, there's Mario, Luigi, uh, Princess Peach, Daisy, Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong, Wario, Waluigi, Koopa Troopas, um, Boos, Shy Guys, Birdos, just like just so many characters. There's a ton of them, and they all look great. They've actually never looked better. Uh, Mario himself looks amazing, just really clean and sharp well detailed and there's a lot of detail just sort of in the uh, the outlying environments um, and even though there does have this sort of overlying fantasy theme to the to the game it sort of keeps itself rooted in reality with these just really clean good looking grass textures uh, that just sort of tie the whole thing together for the most part uh, Toadstool Tour looks really good but there is one problem and it is really annoying and that's the camera um, when you're setting up a shot uh, you can only move the camera along the path of where the ball is going to go. Uh, the problem with this is that it does not give you enough perspective on the outlying environment to know if you're shooting where you should be. Um, and this becomes even more of a problem when you're, when you're putting because the camera, again, only goes along the path of the ball, but your character model never goes away. So it's, you have to sort of angle your way around it and just try to figure out how to see what you need to see. And it can be done. You can you can work around it, but it's unfortunate and disappointing that you have to work around it. The, the, the music in uh, Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is essentially a clearinghouse for just about any Mario theme that you have heard in any previous Mario game, starting from Super Mario Brothers up to Super Mario 64. Um, you'll recognize a lot of, of old familiar tunes that have sort of been uh, reinterpolated using uh, uh, instrumentation that's just more uh, friendly for the sort of laid-back golf attitude. Um, and they also have some new stuff, and the, the old stuff and the new stuff blend together nicely. The beauty of Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is that it's a golf game that will appeal to people that wouldn't otherwise play a golf game. Uh, the mechanics are solid, it looks good, uh, it has a really unique sort of whimsical feel to it. Uh, there are problems, specifically there's the camera issues, and also it's just, it's a touch too similar to the original Mario Golf for the N64, and considering that game came out four years ago, uh, I just, I personally would have expected them to do more with it. So if you don't have any attachments to the original uh, Mario Golf for the N64, you should definitely check this one out.